Here's a quick setup and review of the DB100 Inland Bandsaw, uh, specific for coral cutting from Corals to Cut UK. Thanks to NAF for setting me up with this. This is a uh, really well priced, uh, straight to the UK, easily the cheapest I could find bandsaw. A uh, really nice size. I've only got a small flat, so it's uh, worked out well for me. That's a little unboxing here. Uh, comes with a European plug, but wasn't a problem. Sorting an adapter. So yeah, it comes with a few extra. Extra blade, this uh, overall uh, inside the box. You also have, there's the extra blade, the tube for the outlet water, all the screws, information, good warranty covering. And yeah, so here's setup, just unscrewing uh, the outside. It's got really, really clear uh, instructions to get you set up in travel. It actually comes with two extra feet in case the two that are sent uh, break. Uh, the band is already in there and you just have to uh, attach it onto the top and then essentially spin round and align uh, the band with a few bolts that you can tighten um, from behind to make sure they're in line just so when it's on it doesn't come off the band. Uh, top just screws on, uh, the plate screws on the top with some nylon threads and then uh, the last two elements is just the little plastic guide for the band and uh, the water reservoir on the top i used salt water um when i set mine up because this is uh, it, the whole thing is made out of a composite uh, plastic so there's no corrosive elements at all so salt water is uh, perfect with this uh, rather than you know standard ro water so yeah, once that's screwed up and set on the only piece i couldn't get to work was this tiny little piece of leather that you're meant to put in uh, it's kind of optional uh, it just cleans the blade on its way back up, but it was a little too thick. So, uh, yeah, here's the first coral I'm going to cut. It's uh, a Fabia, a really nice big golf ball of a coral. Couldn't really cut this any other way. It's kind of exactly why I got the got the bandsaw. Um, it's just like a hot knife through butter. It's amazing. Really, really quick. Um, really easy to guide the band. Uh, make sure that you're not cutting through any heads. Uh, you can obviously add like three dimensions to the way that you're cutting as well, which is great. Um, this was a mixture of, you know, obviously the, the thick skeleton of the coral, but also a, a plastic glue mixture. Um, and it struggled a little bit more with the plastic glue, but still got through it easily enough. Just needed to add a little bit more water to the blade to get through that. Um, here we have an Akan, uh, really easy to guide between the heads. Another decently sized coral, just very, very, very clean cut. Um, the water doesn't get recycled, it just comes out the bottom um, from the reservoir. So you just have a little bucket that collects the water, um, which means you can get a, you know, a continuous clean cut. And you can see the edges here are really clean. Um, then we have a, a torch, I think, uh, quite a big torch. This was a really long cut, but this was probably the easiest one of them all because it was just a straight line. Um, really, really fast, really clean. You can see there, that's a good two, three inches. And last but not least was a maize coral or brain coral. Uh, this was quite delicate coral, um, but it was really, really easy to follow along um, and, you know, cut, cut between the different uh, polyps on there. And uh, this is probably the easiest one to see the quality of the drill piece. Like, look at that cut, really clean all the way around. And then just finishing up by uh, cutting it into individual small frags. So yeah, really, really happy with this bandsaw. Um, so I really recommend it. It's on a really, really good um, introductory price at the moment as well. So yeah, thanks, Nath. Um, last but not least, I think I've just got some footage coming up of them uh, literally half an hour after cutting and putting back into the tank. Um, and yeah, all the Akans are puffed back up again. Uh, yes, yeah, so here's the aftermath. Uh, just all the stone there. <laughs> Um, the Akan straight puffed back up again. That's the bit I saved for inside the tank. Um, then that's the maize coral just coming into, or the brain coral coming into focus again. Um, that's now uh, healed up really nicely. Those are all the frags um, cut from the brain coral. And then, uh, yeah, on the side, uh, oh, yeah, that's a torch. You can see the big thick pieces are cut off and another torch I cut previously. And then those are the Akan frags already puffing up half an hour later and the, uh, the fungia frags there on the right, and the piece of fungia I kept over. So yeah, um, really fantastic. Thanks, Nath, and I really recommend.